My name is uh, Salvador. I go by Sal, Sal Aldred, and I was born in Mexico. I live in Katy, Texas. I'm a, an engineer. I have a PhD in chemical engineering, and I've had a passion for real estate investment, uh, investing uh, for a long time. So I own uh, multifamily uh, properties uh, individually with my wife. And uh, the last uh, three, four years, uh, I have gotten into syndications. And uh, I am, I don't even know how many syndications I'm in right now. Uh, I'm uh, with uh, Ashcroft Capital into a number of them. Uh, I started investing with them in uh, 2019. And uh, I had a goal for the number of dollars that I wanted to invest. Uh, and actually I surpassed that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've been, I've been very happy with uh, Ashcroft Capital. It is simple. It is um, uh, profitable. Uh, obviously, you have to do your homework, and I, I, that's what I keep stressing to people. The multifamily syndication space is crowded, and you have to do your due diligence with who are you going to put your dollars with. Uh, you can find many that are willing to take your money, uh, whether it's uh, uh, 506 or 506 B or C. You will find those those kinds of deals, and. Um, a multifamily is a way to um, get better returns, better than average. It's also something that I understand. So I've been investing in real estate and I understand real estate. So if I see a uh, discounted cash flow model or the pro formas that come with the with the deck, I'm able to understand how is it that the money is going to be made. Whereas if you invest in the stock market, yeah, I mean, over the long run, you will make money. Um, but I think it's a lot more volatile. Uh, real estate also offers the benefits of uh, depreciation, which uh, if you do it right, uh, it can lower your taxes. Obviously, this needs to be checked with uh, one's uh, tax advisor, uh, but um, it offers many benefits. I would say that uh, maybe it comes to the uh, no like, and trust, right? I mean, in, in the real estate uh, world, you say that in order to, for you to invest uh, with someone, uh, you got to know him, you got to like him, and you got to trust him. The like, I think, is the icing on the cake. Because if you trust a person and, and, uh, and, and uh, <coughs> you know the person, the liking, maybe, maybe <laughs> not. This is really, it's really the icing on the cake. The other thing that I really like about Ashcroft Capital is the monthly distributions. I, I know that it may represent a little bit more work or maybe more of a pain to, from the accounting perspective and the uh, computer systems perspective to basically do the distributions uh, monthly. But mm -hmm. that is a big attractive for me. It's not that I need the money per se on a monthly basis, but I like seeing the money <laughs> on a monthly basis. Uh, it's you know, like a regular paycheck as opposed to quarterly. Quarterly, I mean syndications that pay quarterly, but, but I think that's a, a big uh, appeal for me. Uh, the other one is uh, uh, any time that I have had uh, any issues, whether the system was down and the distributions didn't go out uh, maybe until a day after or something like that, I receive a reply from someone in Ashcroft within 24 hours, sometimes even less than that. So it's, it's uh, the attention that you don't feel, even though Ashcroft is quite a big company when it comes to the multifamily uh, world, you don't feel that you are just a speck in the universe. Uh, I think you're treated uh, very well and uh, you are giving attention to the level that uh, any investor deserves. Coming from a place where I didn't have experience or, yeah, I didn't have experience in, in the syndications and uh, and uh, also I had been burned by uh, syndication investment uh, a number of years back uh, and it wasn't a multifamily, it was a, a development. Uh, just really the trust, am I gonna hand out another big chunk of money and not see it again, which is what happened before. Or uh, can I trust him? I think really it comes down to trust. It's uh, the, the very first time that you hit the button to wire the money, uh, you call right away. 
hey, did you get my money? And they say, well, you just wired it, so I, we, we don't see it. <laughs> I mean, you got to give us at least, uh, at least an hour to see if it shows up here. But it is that sense of apprehension to, uh, I'm going to give my money and then what? Can I trust the company? Can I trust the person? Once you get past that, it's, it's very easy to uh, deal with that person that has shown uh, uh, trust. I have been extremely pleased with Astro Capital. Uh, I started, uh, obviously, doing my homework. I started going to um, multifamily uh, seminars and uh, meetups and get-togethers. This was before the pandemic, when we could still meet uh, face-to-face. And uh, I wanted to test the waters. I wanted to uh, just start uh, investing with someone to see what it was like, what kind of reporting they did, what kind of uh, payment, whether monthly or quarterly, uh, what kind of documents uh, they gave, what kind of communication style they had. And uh, I started uh, doing my homework with regards to uh, Ashcroft uh, Capital. I actually stumbled into someone into one of the meetups and uh, and I told him I was uh, I was seeking to invest uh, in some uh, with uh, someone. He mentioned that he was uh, already invest- investing with uh, Joe Fairless with Ashcroft Capital, and I set a meeting with uh, Joe. And uh, Joe has a, a, an extremely genuine uh, style, right? Uh, if anyone knows Joe, uh, he he does he never declines a, a meeting if if he can make it. Obviously, uh, he's uh, very sincere and. Uh, his approach to just uh, getting to know you and really not pushing things on you convinced me. And that's how I handed the first, uh, my first investment to them. I don't know if uh, there's an individual element that I would say that I'm most pleased with. Uh, if I start from uh, the moment that you place the call, the moment that you point to the Ascro web website and you say, I'm interested in uh, investing with you guys, uh, then uh, is uh, due to the 506 C uh, regulations. You got to establish a, a well. If it's a 506 B, if it's a 506 C, you don't have to have a, a relationship with the uh, a pre-existing relationship with the uh, person. But I think the first investment that I had, that was gonna be the case. And uh, from the moment that you set the meeting and you start talking about goals, what are my goals? What are his goals? Or the goals of Ashcroft Capital? Uh, the conversation goes. Uh, really well. Uh, at no point uh, do you feel pressure to invest uh, with Ashcroft Capital. They give you information and they let you make a decision. Uh, then uh, once a deal uh, comes, uh, comes up, you get the emails and the emails are timely. The emails are uh, very well descriptive and it has all the materials that you need to see. First uh, with the webinar and also the, the deck that they used to pitch the the deal. They are well explained. Uh, I really like the the decks. Once you get familiar with any syndicator deck, they all flow in the same way and they have all the information that you need. I also like that. Uh, The the webinars, uh, they are well explained. They feel questions. I don't feel that at any point they try to skirt away from difficult questions. As a matter of fact, maybe this is worthwhile noting, pointing out uh, to the to new investors uh, uh, during the pandemic, and this was just right before the pandemic. Uh, there was a deal that Ashcroft Capital was trying to strike in um, Florida, and you can imagine that uh, when we started the pandemic, uh, times were really, really difficult. There was uncertainty like we have not seen in a long time. And uh, I had already given my, uh, my my commitment. My wire was already in the hands of Ashcroft Capital. They were supposed to close. Due to the pandemic, uh, they were not able to, to agree on terms and they decided to out of the deal. And uh, Ashcroft was extremely forthcoming and, and uh, very, uh, uh, very sincere per se. Uh, they returned my money with no problems. They asked me, do you want to roll over into the, the next uh, deal or just uh, have it back? Uh, and uh, I decided to uh, get it back and no problem. So that, that was uh, something that uh, struck me that uh, uh, there were really no attempts to keep the money or to say, well, uh, we don't know. <laughs> You'll see your money later because you, you had already committed. The moment that the deal didn't go through, uh, they returned my uh, my money. Um, 
the communications monthly. I really like the, the short and succinct emails that you guys uh, send every month. Uh, very pointed to uh, what what is going well, what is not going well, and what are we doing to uh, fix it, which is another attractive. Not only do you guys say this is something that is not going necessarily as we would have expected, but this is what we're doing to uh, to remediate that. And I have never stopped receiving any of my uh, monthly distributions. I mean, there, there's more than three. Uh, maybe I'll group, uh, the, since I already mentioned the, the no like, and trust, I'll group them in one. So you get to know uh, Joe. Actually, I think I have him, I have him on my cell phone. So <laughs> I have texted him and, and I didn't think that he was going to reply to me, but uh, he's, he's an extremely personable person. Your organization has grown rightly so uh, you will get uh, communications from uh, from the Ashcroft staff and, and also no problems with that uh, you get very prompt uh, communications uh, the um, the returns that uh, are offered uh, they are preferred and uh, they, they are uh, they, they have come just as uh, promised the, the other reason that I really like Ashcroft is that uh, they have the size, uh, the commitment, and the capacity to deliver on their plans. Because many can write a, a, and create a beautiful deck, but not very many can deliver on uh, what they are promising. And the fact that you guys have brought your own uh, management and construction company, uh, that gives you even more, uh, I guess, uh, capacity or capability to, uh, to deliver on, on their plans. I have not gone through any of my syndications with Ashcroft full cycle, but the ones that I am in, uh, the, the the announced or the advertised returns have been met and actually have been exceeded. Every year, if, if uh, any of uh, your viewers or listeners uh, has uh, invested with Ashcroft, they know that at the end of every year, they analyze how the year went and they split in, in uh, whichever fashion they advertise in the deck. Uh, that the split between uh, general partners and limited partners is, but they have always succeeded in all the uh, syndications that I have been in with Ashcroft. I have gotten my uh, monthly distribution month after month after month, and I have no reason to believe that they will not at least uh, meet the, uh, the promised, uh, the advertised uh, returns in the syndications that I am in. I'm very pleased with uh, Ashcroft. Actually, uh, if uh, if I was uh, I've been a, a fundraiser, a capital raiser for Ashcroft uh, without getting paid. <laughs> for uh, if I can, if I count all of my friends that I have directed to Ashcroft, uh, there's probably more than ten that I have directed to Ashcroft that eventually have ended up uh, investing with them. I want uh, people to realize that uh, the multifamily world is very crowded. And uh, right now, at least, uh, beginning of 2022, money is uh, very cheap, meaning interest rates are very low. And therefore, there's, there's the, the thirst, the hunger for yields. So people is looking for yields. And any deal that they put in front of them, if they are not knowledgeable, they, they will go for it. And, and uh, it has happened to me in the past, many years ago. And I want uh, to at least give my testimonial that uh, up until now, and to the best that I've seen in my knowledge, Ashcroft is a genuine and, and a good company. Just like uh, many others, I have money that I need to keep uh, putting to work. Uh, the why I, I have uh, already experienced, I, I have. Uh, once you do something, you get to create some sort of system, and, and I have the system down. Another thing that I appreciate about uh, Ashcroft is that uh, they do, so when you do a 506C investment, uh, you guys need to check that you are indeed an accredited investor. And uh, unfortunately, in, uh, in, in this private world of uh, multifamily investment, I, I don't think that everybody uh, runs their show as uh, well as they should and and this could get it get to people in trouble with the sec right uh, you guys uh, um, go through a, uh, a standard way to check accredited investors 
which gives you a little bit more comfort. So Ashcroft is in, in different markets and uh, the markets that I'm in with them, and I think that those are the only markets that you guys are in, Florida, jo uh, Georgia, and, and Texas, at least for, for right now. Um, they, they are, you guys do your homework when it comes to uh, assessing and uh, selecting deals. Uh, they are similar in nature. The, most of the deals that you that you guys uh, pitch are class uh, class upper B, maybe lower A, with the potential to uh, to improve. Uh, I always like the the value add uh, element that you guys uh, bring to the table, that Ashcroft brings to the table, and uh, and just uh, really the the holistic uh, uh, set of. Uh, circumstances that I mentioned, the communication, the the personal treatment to the investor, the paying monthly the, and paying uh, regularly and consistently uh, through the pandemic, uh, all of the deals that I mean, and uh, I mean, I cannot say that I mean uh, a huge amount of deals, but at least from uh, from Ashcroft, I'm probably in, in six deals with you guys and uh, none of them is still paying and uh, Times were tough, and uh, another sign that you guys are completely transparent is uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, Ashcroft was very forthcoming. They said, well, we don't know what this is going to turn out to be. For the time being, we're going to stop, uh, we we're going to keep distributing, uh, making monthly distributions, which not every syndicator uh, did. Many of them held back on the funds. And they said, until the cloud passes, we're not going to give you any money. With Ashcroft, that was never the case, which uh, I think is a testament uh, for uh, the kind of company Ashcroft is.